the ball on the battle. We hit it up ten times. Skill test. And now, flat battle. Before they can play. We turned the battle over. And then we did the same thing ten times in the back end position. And then I would have to hit the ball up, let it fall, and catch it ten times. There you go. Everybody's looking good. Looking good. And I'd have him do it back to the backhand position. Hit it up. Ball and catch it. Then you could also do what Marcy did. Have him hit it ten times down. And, and, and you can go down, up. There's a lot of variations you can do. Then I would take him to a wall. And I would I would have them bounce the ball, hit four in against the wall, and catch the ball tonight. Bounce, hit, catch the ball. That way you don't have balls flying all over your gym. And that takes some control. Then I'd have them master that, and they can do the same thing with the backhand. Catch the ball. Once they master that, guess what? Two volleys, four in. In a row. They only got nine and it passed. They had it in ten volleys in a row against the wall. Same with the backhand, and that's the toughest one. Ten volleys in a row with the backhand. Once they master those skills, they're pretty much ready to play and uh, ready to have fun. Uh, you, the thing when you're doing your skills and drills, I was, wasn't watching as closely as I should have, but a lot of students end up dropping their racket or turn their racket. And you can correct that when you're doing your skills. Uh, that really helps. And, they can, uh, and when they're, if they're dropping their racket against the wall, they're not going to pass 